Okay, folks, listen, I put that in the community tab, you know what I mean? I asked a question, as you guys can see right here next to me, you know, should I bring back the air fryer series? You guys overwhelmingly said yes, and the number one thing they wanted to know is, you guys wanted to know, is how to make, you know, air fried chicken wings. So guess what, folks? We finna do it, let's get it. I'm gonna make them naked, they're gonna still come out crispy, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the breading. So, I'm gonna go ahead, move this out the way, and get this like this. Now, I got one cup of flour, right? So we're gonna use some cornstarch. I'm gonna ask this question because I wanna read the answers down in the comment section below, right? Below this video. I want you guys to tell me how many tablespoons is a quarter cup. I'm gonna be using my AP and I'm gonna be using my A. This is a beautiful mixture. This right here has all the blends and everything for poultry, really does good. For those of you guys that's been out there that already have it, you already know. Look at this right here. You have to season this. You know why? Because we're gonna taste this once we got it. Remember, it's low in sodium, so we wanna put some flavor in this. Can you see the color difference? That tells me we're gonna have something great tasting. Because if your batter tastes like it got flour, I mean, it tastes like it has some seasoning in it, check this out. That means when you go ahead and fry them and you eat them, they're gonna be great. Now for me, I put pepper in everything. All right, so this is what I wanna look at. When you stir it all up, you see that right there? I can see all my seasoning. And if you ask me, I think it could take a little bit more of the A seasoning. Okay, so when we're using an air fryer, right? Look, this is gonna be key. You wanna get yourself a non-stick spray, right? So whatever the surface is, we like to spray that. So I'm gonna take it and just spray this because we're gonna put the wings on here, right? I'm gonna get in here, you know, drop some in here like this. Oh, and by the way, I did just taste this and that right there, I can taste it. I wish you guys could too, but you could look at the color and know that that right there is fire. So I'm gonna take it. Then I like to squeeze it. You know, this chicken, right? And I gotta tell you guys, look, it already been cleaned and washed. I don't really show that per process because everybody have their own way of doing it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna take it and then I'm gonna transfer that over here to this tray. And we'll just put it in. Now look, this is the bottom side, that's the skin side. So I'm gonna just say we're gonna put it in the bottom side, just like that, right? I'm gonna probably do half of them this way, right? And then the other half I'm gonna do, we're gonna do some naked wings too. Okay, so look, you see, I got it here. I even got a drum head in the inside. No worries, look, a couple of those. Now, you wanna get yourself a little spray, because we put that coating in there, check this out. I just spray a little bit just to get it going, right? That's all we need. This is gonna be the secret. Now, remember I told you all of these uh, air fryers work the same. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here like this. I'm gonna turn this around so you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and hit power, and then we hit wings and watch what happens. See that? Temperature, 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 14 minutes. Now, I hit play or start, and that's it. Now that goes for 14 minutes, right? But I'm gonna tell you what we do. We just divide that in two, which would be seven, right? So in seven minutes, I'm gonna take them and flip them over, and we're gonna look at them. Okay, so look, you can see right now, we halfway through it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. We're gonna look at it together for the first time. Look at that right there. Now, I'm gonna turn these over and we're gonna look at this. I'm looking at these right here. I'm probably gonna spray these just one more time as I flip them over. But you see what I'm talking about? We didn't spray nothing on the bottom and you can see how the grease goes, but I'm gonna take these. Let's go ahead and give these a little bit of a spray. Now, one of the questions that I get a lot is do I preheat my air fryer? I don't, but I can see how it would help. You know what I mean? Because after you run your second batch, your second batch, you won't have, you know, as much spray issue. So if you want to run it, you can, but I usually just run it like this, right? Now we stick it back in, and then we just hit start. Okay, so look, now it has ended. Let me move this out the way. We'll pull this out and we'll take a look at it. See if it needs to go a little. But I'm gonna be quiet, listen to that. And we just look at it. All of these is nice. Now if I wanna make, I can go a little longer if I would like. I could flip these over if I want to. And then you know what? I'm gonna show you one more thing too about an air fryer that's probably key. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys now. I'm gonna turn this over with. When you get to know your air fryer, and you can see, we ran it for 14 minutes and this is what they look like, right? I'm gonna show you something. If I wanted to go a little longer, all of them work the same exact way. Look, we're gonna hit wings, right? 380, 14 minutes, I'm gonna hit start, right? I just wanna go a little bit longer, right? 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, reduce this down and I'm gonna give it another four minutes. Super simple, folks. Now, while we waiting, I got three more minutes there. Look, what you wanna do is, I told you guys I was gonna do them a little bit on the neck side, right? This is an infused olive oil, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a little bit in here. We just wanna coat it just a little bit. And I'm just gonna put this on here. We already got a binder. You know I got a binder in here and because I'm using an olive infused, I mean garlic infused, it smells just mm, crazy incredible, right? And it kind of like stops me from having to have to, uh, you know, spray them, right? Because we got a little oil on there. Open up my AP. Now we add this. This right here is a lethal combination, folks. So I'm gonna take those out once they're ready. And then we're gonna go ahead and put these in. Then we're gonna do a comparison at the end. Now that that's done, we pull these out. Let's look at them. Oh yeah. I can feel that they are already crispy. Nice. Yes, sir. Then once you got them out, let me bring these over here like this. I always like to just double check everything that I do, especially when it comes to, you know, chicken, right? We want to see 165. Look, we have 175. These are just right. All right. Now I'm gonna stage these over here like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this, right? I'm gonna drop these in here like that. And what I'll do is I'll just separate them. Don't forget, we're gonna put that, what we just learned about the time. Now remember flats, is, they don't need as much, right? So put this in the inside, let me bring this around. Right, we hit the wings, right? Now, we just added a little bit of time to the flats, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. Let's go 18 minutes. We'll just start there and just see how it is. We come down here and hit start. All right, so we look at these. Now, remember, I flipped them, and look how they look right there. That's because they was really coated with the oil, right? So we just go ahead and stage these right here. Oh, yeah. Then we make a little comparison. Okay, folks, so look, now you guys can get a chance to see how it is, right? So look, these over here look more like the bready ones, huh? But these are what we did with the infused olive oil, right? And then we just seasoned them, so we call them the naked wings, right? And this over here is what had the, listen, this would have the bread on it. You know, your flour, cornstarch, seasoning, and all of that. So I'm gonna grab one of these right now, and we finna taste it. I'll start with this one here. I'm not finna over talk it. Let's just eat this one here. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm. These right here fire. Hey, look, these are like cookies to me. You know what I mean? I make them all the time. You get away from using all that grease, you know, frying. It's like a healthier option. Keto friendly, yada, yada, yada. Neck and wings. Mm. Jury's still out, right? Not for real, jury in. I can tell you right now which one I prefer. Really the ones that I make all the time, and that's these naked wings. Don't forget, we added everything on there, and I know less flour, all of that. That's what makes those keto friendly, right? You know what I mean? Uh, the reason I say they're keto friendly on the other side, because you can have so many grams of carbs. You know what I mean? Even if you're on a keto diet. But I, if you ask me, you have these on this side right here. These are the naked ones. They taste just as good. They little, they not as crispy as the ones on the left. You know, the one with the uh, flour on there, but this right here do. So listen, you're looking to lose a little weight, have some fun, or got a lot of people coming over, this is the thing for you. So check this out, folks. You see this shirt, what I'm wearing right now? Check it out. I'm Kitchen Certified, are you? Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe, right? I want you guys to tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. With that being said, folks, I'm about to sit down. I got my blue cheese. What's missing right now is, I didn't have no blue, you know, that, that, that crumble to put in there. But anyway, I'm about to eat, folks. I'm out. Peace.